one would worry because if you went up, then, you know, it very usually it was apparent that was the problem. Um, but it was that wonderful combination of film and theater, and it was really more like theater in the sense that it was live. Right. And you started at the top and kept on going no matter what, as one does in the theater. And in that sense, I think uh, it was great, great training ground because I don't believe that you really learn much about acting from film myself. And I have great admiration for people that have been trained only in film and learned most of their acting from film. Um, when I was just a kid, the biggest break I got was in summer stock when I got a, uh, about the second or third lead with Roddy McDowell. I was about 16 or so, uh, and Roddy was about 14, I guess, and he was a star already from film. He was a damn good stage actor, I'll tell you. He was, he was terrific in that show. It was John Van Druten's Young Woodley, which was about a, an English boys' school. And Roddy uh, uh, was just terrific. And I remember in thinking back much later on how much I admired him that I didn't understand then because most of his training had been in film. Uh, Tony Curtis learned most of what he uh, has, has learned in film, and he's done done some uh, uh, some fine work when he's when he's gotten the right parts. Uh, but he had to learn it on film. So what I'm hearing from you, um, I think, is that you wouldn't have been uh, as good a, a an actor in in film if you hadn't had a television. Beginning. Oh, I don't, don't think there's any question. Most of what I learned. Uh, came from live TV.